Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back on our quest to try all the ice cream world has to offer. Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing Briars Dulce de Leche. Dulce de Leche because I know some of that, some of you that really gets under your skin and we're doing it because we're in America and that's how we say it in America, especially in the South. Speaking of the South, I finally moved so I'm kind of a transitory stage but I am officially out of New York City and down south so work with me with the background and the lighting I apologize let's go ahead and jump into it today like I said we're doing Briar's Dulce de Leche Dulce de Leche as we say in America some of you psychos in the comments are gonna be like it's Dulce de Leche we speak English here that's how we say it in English if you don't like it move on with your life anyway this is a frozen dairy dessert guys you know me you should know me by now Work with me. I say it every episode. Work with me. Uh, this is a uh, frozen dairy dessert. Is natural flavored, or natural flavors with natural natural flavor with other natural flavors. Dolce de leche uh, with a caramel swirl, and it is gluten free for the calorie conscious crowd. It is nine servings of one hundred and sixty one six zero calories each. How's everybody doing? Put it in the comments below. I, of course, saw you last week. Sorry, guys. The lighting's going to be off. Work with me. Like I said, I apologize. I'm in a transitory phase. Uh, but I'm out of New York, so it's all that matters. Uh, as I said before, uh, this is a frozen dairy dessert. Typically a frozen dairy dessert. The difference between a frozen dairy dessert and an actual FDA standard ice cream is that a frozen dairy dessert usually usually from what i understand has uh more air whipped into it less quality ingredients but the main differentiator is that a, is that a word differenti differentiator anyway the thing that makes it different is that it has instead of milk fat or butter it has uh vegetable oil let's go ahead and jump into it has anybody ever had this specific flavor before from briars this specific one let me know what you think put it in the comments below also, I am running out of shirts. Well, first things first, the caramel really pops out. I'm not going to lie. Maybe a little bit smokier caramel, if that makes any sense. It's got a decent creaminess to it, as you can see. Although I maybe hesitate to call it cream because I don't know if it's officially cream without actual milk in it, but although it probably does have some milk in it. Let me see. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, it has skim milk in it. Skim milk, corn syrup, corn syrup sugar, fructose, water, coconut oil, and a bunch of other big words. Um, saw you guys last week uh, as far as the show goes, but I haven't filmed in almost two months. I've been trying to get everything ready to move and get everything in order. I did find out. So, so far there's no caramel swirl, but hopefully we'll get to it. I did find out where I'm going to school at, but we'll get to that at some point later. It's kind of up in there, but it's not. So, you can kind of see the caramel swirl through it. I would say that definitely has a nice sweetness to it um, there is kind of a nice creaminess to it believe it or not it's more of like a they say it's natural flavors I don't know this doesn't really taste but so natural uh, I would say it's better than your run-of-the-mill store brand ice cream but in general it's kind of got that fructose sugar taste to it in my opinion so go to go ahead actually if you get down there you can kind of see it can do it kind of see that swirl a little bit deeper a little bit deeper down you do so let's go ahead and <laughs> oh, give it a rating so Scale of 1 to 100, 10 point grading scale for the Dolce de Leche from Briars, their frozen dairy dessert. Let's see, for an average frozen dairy dessert, we'll say we'll give it like that second tier because it's by no means premium, but it's not economy either. 
bro. I might give it for your average or, or name brand. I might give it for what it is a frozen air dessert. It's got that high fructose corn syrup taste. I'll give it like an 85. It's definitely not bad. It's by no means the best Dolce de Leche I ever had. Would I eat again? Yeah, if somebody had it at their house, I would definitely eat it. I don't know that I'd go out of my way to get it, but overall, it's not bad. It's got a decent sweetness to it, decent fattiness to it, although that's kind of lacking on the backside. The creaminess is okay. It's, it's better than I expected. Um, it does kind of have that artificial, artificial, artificial flavor taste, artificial, artificial flavor taste to it. Uh, so that kind of takes away from it. Uh, it's it's definitely lighter and fluffier. It's not as dense as I would like, not as fatty as I would like. Um, the overall dulce de, dulce, dulce de leche that you psychos in the comments are going to say something about. Uh, dulce de leche flavor, it's there, but it's not super strong. It's by no means like a haagen or a, a, a better brand. Uh, so anyway, you guys go out and check it out. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. Let me know if you've had this particular flavor before and if you know any other brands that make a really good Dolce de Leche. Also, while you're there, what'd you think about the last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out that ice cream. See what you think. Put it in the comments of that video. I'm always interested in what you guys think. Love to converse with you guys about these brands. I realize sometimes it's hard to find. So if you're able to find it, even if it's a year or two old, go to that video, put it in the comments. I'd love to, I'd love to talk to you about it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm a little rusty. Work with me. Work with me. I say it every time. Work with me. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, tell your friends, tell your family. Check the links below. Come eat ice cream with me every week. Go out, see if you can find this. Give me your opinion on it because I definitely love it. And I will not be so sticky next time. I will see you next time. See you next time, guys.